welcome back to Leanne's Spirit Stories. So, this is story number six, and it is going to be about the Des Moines International Airport here in Des Moines. It's outside of Des Moines, actually. Um, but I first want to point out one thing. Do not adjust your picture. Do not try to wipe your camera or phone or whatever off. That is a cut on my face. <sighs> my cat is sick. Took him to the vet. And this is what I get. Anyways, he's doing a little better. He is an angry man. Um, anyways, so back to the story. Um, so the cloud room um, at the international airport is supposedly haunted by a young um, deceased flight attendant. Um, not sure about what her name is or anything like that because I can't find anything. All I have is all these accounts that um, workers or past workers have heard her walking in the hallways, seen her walking in the hallways, um, but nobody knows her name, knows what happened to her. Um, I would love, love to know, like, maybe what is she wearing? Figure out the time, you know, she might have been killed or deceased. Um, so... That one's a little different. Um, there's not much information on that one. However, there is a second spirit at the airport. This is one that's interesting. So, um, back in 1920s, the Des Moines area had several small airports for general aviation or and different planes, um, smaller planes, I'm sorry. Um, in 1929, the Iowa General passed a law saying or allowing cities to sell and levy sell bonds and levy assessments to build a municipal I said it right um airport there was 80 different sites that they were looking at for the airport or the the, the what is now Des Moines airport 80 I can't pick a pick between two shirts let alone 80 good lord um, anyways, so it is said that this was owned by a farmer. Um, I have found one, um, story and actually someone commented on it. They did an unknown Arthur, 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 Arthur. Yeah, anyways. Um, but they claim to be the great, great grandson of this farmer and that it is true that the the land was basically taken from him um to build the airport um now he this farmer passed away um but i did find out that it was called the jones dairy farm jones is a very common name but um i can't find anything um saying who owned the land before the airport. So the, the apparition of a middle-aged farmer is said to scare people, um, basically moaning and letting himself known, walking up on people, um, leaving shadows, anything. Um, it's, he's not a bad spirit. Um, I just believe he's really his land which I don't blame him um it's also been said that there is a burial site under the airport um which I kind of find interesting because I would think their land you know they they would not do that but um there is a burial site that was for his family um it is said that he is there too hence why he's haunting people there um so, I, I just believe that he's just mad, um, unfortunately. Um, I would like to know more about him and the flight attendant. Um, like, names. I mean, I do have a name, Jones Dairy Farm, but if you Google that, yeah, too much to go on there. Um, so that's pretty much it for the Des Moines Airport. Um, okay, that's all I have for the Des Moines International Airport. Um, it's 
very vague. I wish people would leave more information. Anyways, um, I hope you guys have a good day and um, be good and be safe out there. And thanks for listening.